All right, welcome everybody. This is Niklas Hoschmidt and today I have another unusual chess problem for you. We all know these kind of positions where it's like why to checkmate in two moves, why to checkmate in three moves, something like this. Well, I have a different kind of task for you today and that is why to not checkmate in one move. So you have to find a move for white in this position with which white does not checkmate. It's a really interesting kind of setup and also not so easy to figure out how white doesn't checkmate his opponent. So let's see the position for a moment. We have the king on e4 stuck in the middle of the board and white's king is on g8. And yeah, now you have to figure out how to not checkmate your opponent here. Is there a way? Well, there is a way, but what is it? That's the question. What is the way to go? So take some time here <laughs> and see if you can figure it out. All right, you ready? All right, we just have to go through the pieces, right? So we notice that knight e2 is checkmate, knight g3 is checkmate, knight f2 is checkmate, knight c3 is checkmate, more moves those knights cannot play, right? There are no other legal moves for those knights. Then we have the bishop. Bishop only has one move, just to take a b7, that's checkmate. So it doesn't work <laughs> in terms of the task. Well, what is left? Those two pieces cannot move. This bishop cannot move, so it has to be the rook, right? It's kind of a elimination method. And now we see that wherever the rook moves, it seems, the bishop gives checkmate because this rook is pinned, cannot take. But then we notice something. We can put the rook in between the pin on c6. Now this rook is unpinned. The bishop is not pinning it anymore and the rook can take this bishop and it's not checkmate. Actually, can white checkmate in one move from here? I believe so. Well, of course, those moves still work, but also moves like rook c7 would work. What a tease here to not checkmate the opponent one, but give him one more one more chance, one more move, <laughs> and then checkmate him next move. Anyways, I found this this problem kind of cute, and I want to show it to you guys, and I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any other suggestions for problems like that, I quite like them. And then I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.